administrative Whoa, the administrative one at a time and he's first. So he's the, first. The he's first. Louder doesn't get to go first, okay? I'll give you the big tip. I'll pick him and I'll pick him in order. The administrative fees are backdated to April. Is that because Labor's struggling to find enough funds ahead of the federal election? No. And why has it been backdated? Well, that's where the legislation was uh, begun with in terms of the process. It's not my legislation. I haven't written it. Um, but uh, in terms of I assume that, that it is normally the case when legislation is prepared, quite often it's prepared on the basis of from the time of, uh, from the time of preparation or from the time of uh, agreement. So there's no worries the, about But do you think uh, that uh, Labor is broke and needs the extra money? No. Shouldn't a deal be done with, based on the and I note And I note that, uh, that there's a direct quote from me in one of the papers today that uh, the journalist concerned didn't have the courtesy of contacting me or my office about that, and it's wrong. But the, the idea that this had to be both major parties agreeing, I mean, that, so what, this issue is this sort of lives in this sort of separate world where it has to be bipartisan? You can't pass it the way you normally pass legislation? You've asked the same question a number of it times. It's odd to me. Well, you well, it might seem odd to you, perhaps principles? that's why you're a journo and I'm in politics. Okay. Because what I know, what I know, some people report, some people do. You know, what I know is that if I was standing here uh, saying we've got a partisan uh, piece of legislation on electoral uh, reform, I think you'd be very critical of it. So you didn't want to fight with Tony Abbott? I think people would be really critical of electoral reform. I can't be clearer than that. I think where, where possible, where possible electoral reform should be conducted in a bipartisan way wherever possible. On, on another question of reform... You can disagree with it. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's my position and it's been my position the whole way through. And I might add that that is totally consistent with the way that most electoral reform issues have been dealt with, not just in this parliament, but in previous parliaments as well. And that when, when there has been attempts to have uh, partisan uh, differences, and there are differences within uh, the political parties over a range of things, including issues such as voluntary voting, including a range of issues. If it was the case that a government was able to or, or endeavoured to abuse its position to entrench uh, its, uh, its electoral, uh, its current electoral position by changing future outcomes, I think that the media would quite rightly be very critical. On another Just question of reform, reform of the caucus, do you support the idea of the caucus uh, appointing the executive? Well, uh, let's be clear about what used to happen. Yeah. What used to happen was that the factions and the faction leaders, and you know, I'm not uh, immune from those issues, uh, would uh, determine there'd be a ballot not in the caucus. The ballot would be within the left, uh, within the right. They'd do it within the respective state branches of the right. So it'd be ba little ballots in little rooms and then a, uh, a slate presented to the caucus. I was here from 1996 to uh, 2007 uh, as a member of the opposition during that time, there were ballots for leadership and deputy leadership. There weren't ballots held in the caucus. If this is a deal, just back to electoral funding. If this is a deal to be struck between, I, I've, I've answered. No, 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 just one more question. You can disagree. With if me, this but is, if that's, but can you just answer this question? If it is a deal between the two major parties, if it is a deal to be struck between Julia Gillard and Tony Abbott, why then, in the agreement? that Julia Gillard and Wayne Swan signed Look, with Rob Oakeshott I've, is point, 3.1 actually explicitly outline I've, I've, electoral donations. I've, I've answered the question. I, ha I have the answered the question. You disagree with me. Just there's, back, there's, on, back on the caucus reform. Is there, yep. Do you think there, are, are, there should be some changes to the way the executive is appointed or should it be in the hands of the Look, leader? I think, I think in terms of the reforms that the party needs are uh, very different from uh, talking about uh, the, uh, the executive and the way that it's chosen. What I want to see is the democratisation of the party from the grassroots up. I want to see more power given to individual members of the party. And uh, I want to see that across uh, the spectrum. Um, 
I think it's worthy of consideration of the party membership having a say in the leadership of the party. I think it's worthy of I think it's worthy of these issues being debated within the party uh, at uh, at the next national conference. I've been an advocate, for example, of members directly having a say over uh, who. Um, goes to uh, the ALP National Conference. There's been some reforms in New South Wales and I give Sam Dasiari and John Graham a great deal of credit. Uh, measures such as election of uh, the policy committees have meant that members have been able to participate. I want to see more direct democracy in the party. Now if you could have a caucus ballot, which was a genuine caucus ballot, where there weren't groups and people uh, were um, not uh, chosen by the factions, uh, then I think that would be uh, worthy of consideration. But my view, my view is that uh, any party leader in uh, 2012 and beyond who isn't able to say that they can get the front bench that they want uh, is, uh, would be placed in an extremely difficult position. And I also say that when I look at the front benches, from 1996 to 2007, uh, I can't look at you and say that I agree that that was the best team that was available. There's been some disquiet in the back benches in recent days, or a number of issues. Are you 100% certain that it's not Kevin Rudd supporters agitating behind the scenes, as reported in some of the papers today? Uh, absolutely. So you can categorically deny there's no uh, renewed push? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm a I'm friend of Kevin's. Um, Make no secret of that. I've been a friend of Kevin's for a long time. I will be and you for a long for a long time. Uh, Kevin's been consistent about all of this. Uh, some journo's do the sort of jump around and and uh, jump at shadows. Uh, Kevin is doing his job. I was with uh, him and Wayne Swan in Brisbane at a very successful uh, press conference about the Cross River Rail project, and I know that uh, Kevin's continuing to do his job. Uh, as the member for Griffith. Uh, I expect that he'll continue uh, to, uh, to do that. And uh, the only discussions that I've seen Kevin Rudd engaged in are issues of policy that are of interest uh, to, uh, to his electorate and, uh, and broader issues. And so I think in terms of uh, people uh, looking for uh, motivations that simply aren't there and trying to join unconnected events um, is, uh, I think, uh, just uh, not the case. The fact is that uh, uh, internal issues were resolved, uh, resolved clearly, and uh, we're uh, all getting on with the campaign of, uh, of going forward to the next election. Thanks very much. Thank you.